Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises on to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yabashai, Waharaka Kadash. Double honors on to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honors to you, brothers, out there, the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And um, I just want to touch on this topic, you know, it's, a, it's an ongoing battle with these scoffers and scorners. You know, this whole woman thing. And <clears throat> to be honest with you, it's, just, it's foolishness. All right. At the end of the day, it is what it is. All right. Your nationality is determined by the seed of your father, man. Simple as that. All right. It doesn't mean women are worthless. It just means the man has a higher honor because of it. The father being the origin and the mother being the nurturer. All right. The father has the higher honor. All right over the mother that doesn't mean that the mother has no honor we don't have to have like this stupid arguments like they're having online man versus woman and it's, it's, it's just all bullshit man you just have to put things in their proper perspective and it's all good the bible says to honor your mother and your father that doesn't mean you you are of your mother you're ultimately of your father and that's just how it is all right the son has the greater honor over the daughter that doesn't mean that the daughter has no honor. It just means the son has a greater honor, a greater value. And it just is what it is. And it's for this reason. All right. Because the man, the seed is of the most importance. That doesn't mean women have no importance. You just got to put everything in its proper perspective. All nations have a male progenitor. The Lord separated the seeds of Adam according to men. Hence, Genesis 10 and 1, now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were sons born after the flood. Now, why is it mentioning the sons? Because it's about to go and break down the nations. The nations come from sons, they come from men. That's how the Lord separated it. Right? The sons of Japheth, Goma, Magog, Matai, Yawan, Tubal, Meshach, and Tyras. Right? And so on and so forth. Jump down by these were the isle of the Gentiles divided in their lands, everyone after his tongue, after their families, and in their nations. So the pedigrees of the families were divided according to the fathers, not the mothers. You know, right? the mother does not de de determine your nationality or your prophetic destiny by that. Okay, it's according to the father. And I don't see what the problem is because if you're meant to be a Bible believer. Then you can read in the Bible and clearly see that women are not progenitors, man. Like There is no tribe of Dinah for a reason. There is no tribe or nation that is of a woman. Now, like I said, you got the goofy man versus woman thing going on on the internet. Oh, men ain't shit. Oh, women ain't shit. Blah, blah, blah. It's just toxic, man. It, the internet's quite toxic. None of that's necessary, okay? Let's just break it down according to the scriptures. And that way we don't have to have these. Because you see, God, what these people think is because we say the nationality is of the man. That now means that, you know, it's the, your mom, you know, F your mother, blah, blah, blah. Just calm yourself fucking down, man. Right? Just calm it down. There's no need for it. It's just the way of life. Right. There's peace. There doesn't have to be the contention. And in the kingdom, there won't be. It just be like normal, just how it is. But you know, it's 2023, and um, it's the whole man versus woman thing, and everything has to be a contention and rare, 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 and it's bullshit, man. So nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman. All right, the fact of the matter is, is that men were not made to be on this earth alone, okay, or without women. So we're not even gonna get into that. Was the, there's going to be women There's going to be Israelite men There's going to be Israelite women There's going to be women of the other nations There's going to be men of the other nations That's something that's always going to exist Except Edomite men and Edomite women That's not always going to exist Okay Alright Male and female create he them Okay That is the intention of the Lord Neither the man without the woman In the Lord Okay so oh, is the one person don't need this person, another person don't need that person. It's, just, it's all like pointless. The Lord 
created men and women. We both have roles. We both have our own honor. And the man has the greater honor. The husband has the greater honor over the wife. The father has the greater honor over the, the, the mother. The son has the greater honor over the daughter. That's just how it is. Okay? But both have an honor to uphold a value. All right, you could dishonor yourself, all right, through actions, through, you know, but everyone has their honor and their value in turn, okay? It says, for as the woman is of the man, all right, because every woman that is on this planet came from a man, all right, because we all come from sperm, okay? Even men and women come from sperm, come from a man. The man puts his sperm his seed into the woman all right it joins with the egg all right a baby is formed whole all right but it came from the man all right the woman then nurtures that seed until it is born and, and that's just how whether it be a man or a woman it came forth of the seed of man, of the seed of the father. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman. So there is no man on this planet that hasn't come to this earth by a woman. So we come by a woman, but we come from a man. Do you understand? And that's just how it is. It's, um, what, what? I don't, personally, I don't see what the big issue is here. It's why, why you know, but ultimately I understand it's because we're in a time of great confusion and error and people got to find something to argue about and buck up against. But this it's just not that deep, is it really? All right. But here we are, 2023, 6,000 years later. And this is, this is what we got to be um, correcting. It's a damn shame. All right. You know, so the Lord separated and divided you know, Deuteronomy 32 and 8, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons, separated the sons, were separated through sons of Adam, he fed the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. All right. And so there is no half this, half that, quarter this, quarter that, fifth this, fifth that, 10% this, 8% that. That's, that is the confusion of Esau because Esau's running away from his heritage. All right, that's confusion. And if that was the case, then how do you reckon judgment? Because the Lord has given judgment, he's given prophecy against different nations. Well, how can you, well, if he prophesied good for one nation and bad for another nation, if you're half of one and half the other, which half are you going to, do you know what I mean? It's just, come on, like, we could be, we could be at the end of the day. If you're Edomite, half Edomite, according to these idiots, and half Israelite, then does that mean half of you is honored and half of you is dishonored? Is half of you going to be exterminated and the other half? I mean, come on, man. This is foolishness. What if you're 1% Edomite? Is that 1% are you going to be done away with and left the 99% left? Which 1% is that? Your pinky finger? It's just stupidity, man. you got one heritage according to prophecy, man. One heritage according to your seed. And it's as simple as that, man. All right? It's simple, but these men try to make it complicated. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which has been is now and that which is to be have already been. And God requires that which is past. Actually, I'm going to talk about it. Listen, I, don't, I want to read above that. Sorry. Verse 14. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. So when the Lord separated the, the sons of Adam into these various seed lines, you can't change that now. Does not matter what you do. All right. If I lay down, no matter what woman I lay with, my seed will be my seed. All right. And it will be the seed of my father and his father before him up until my forefather Jacob. Because that's how the Lord separated it. Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And there's nothing anyone can do to change that. Esau's trying to change that with his false ideologies. But that doesn't change anything. Every single person on this planet's lineage goes back to a particular man that the Lord separated uh, from among the sons of Adam Simple as that Alright Every single man Every single woman on this planet Has a nationality Which is one A full nationality Not no mixed bullshit There's no such thing as mixed seeds 
Yeah, a mixed seed is something you probably find in some gay porno somewhere. Yeah, or, or some orgy. <laughs> yeah, we don't do mixing of seeds around here. Because seed is sperm. All right, a woman egg can only be um can only be uh, fertilized by one sperm. And in the situations where two sperms fertilize a woman, usually it's because there's two eggs. All right. There's never really a case where you can get two sperms and one egg. That doesn't happen. You can get one sperm, fertilize an egg, and the egg splits in two and then forms two different people, which is twins or triplets or quadruplets. Or you can get two sperms, which can um, fertilize one egg each. And that's when you get um, unidentical twins. right? But, but what you don't get is two sperms in one egg. That's impossible, man. That's foolishness. It's folly. All right, but these guys don't get it. When the Bible is telling you about mixed people, it's talking about various different seeds of people dwelling together as one. It's not talking about an individual because an individual cannot be mixed because you are who your father is. It's, it's that simple. You know what I mean? I don't know how else to say it, man. All right, I really don't know. I'm struggling to think of a way, another way to say it. All right, and this whole thing about mitochondria, first of all, Mitochondria is not female DNA. Mitochondria is mitochondrial DNA. Mitochondrial DNA is mitochondrial. However, only a woman can pass on uh, mitochondrial DNA because only women pass on mitochondria. Because mitochondria is found in every human cell, but it's not found in sperm cells. When you create a sperm cell, you do not um create a sperm cell that has your mitochondria that you have in your body in it because mitochondria is in in man and woman but it's not in sperm but there is mitochondria in an egg so you get your mitochondria that is in your body from the mitochondria that was in your mother's egg right and that mitochondria has its own dna because it's almost like its own microorganism within your cells to produce help you to produce energy however mitochondria dna is not your mother's DNA. Your mother has his own DNA. In the haploid, um, in the gamete, which is the egg, there is a haploid nucleotide, which contains half the chromosomes, just like the sperm contains the other half of the chromosomes. Okay? So this whole mitochondria, most of these guys, they don't even know what mitochondria is. You know what I mean? They're just chatting. Yeah, mitochondria, DNA, they don't even know what DNA is. If you ask them, What's DNA? They, they don't know. It's deox, deoxy nu, uh, ribonucleic acid. They're just chatting in it. They don't know nothing. The point of the matter is, this is the most house creation. And whether you like it or not, the seed is of the man. Okay? It's, yeah, all right. The spirit is with the sperm. And it, and, it, and it joins up with the egg. Becomes complete and whole to form a, a full person. But the spirit and the lineage and the, the prophetic judgment, everything is with the sperm to begin with. That's how it is. That's the origin. The word father means origin. The word mother means to nurture or to be a habitat which is or to carry, which is why the earth is likened unto a woman. And it's not woman worship, okay? You're not worshipping women if you liken something unto a woman because even the scriptures does that. There's a reason why cities are named after women. There's a reason why cars are named after women. There's a reason why, and it's not to worship women. It's because a woman is a nurturer or a habitat in herself. All right, it's a feminine thing to carry, to nurture. So the earth is not an origin. It's not a creator. The earth is an incubator. It's a is a habitat for life. So it's so it's it's likened onto a woman. Right, a ship carries people, like a woman carries people. So it's, it's given a woman's name, yeah, motherland, all that stuff. So it, it, things just have to be put into their proper perspective, man. All right, the father is different though. When when you something is a father, the word father itself actually means origin. That's why we have a heavenly father and not a heavenly mother, because the Most High is the origin and the source of all things. You understand? So, even in the, even in the meaning of the words, right? When you, when someone mothers something, when you mother something, what do you do? You nurture it. You help it to grow. 
when you father something, you are the you are the progenitor of it. You are the creator. <clears throat> anyway, that was a point on that. You know, if you get it, you get it. You know, at this stage, if you can't get it, then you know you just gonna have to wait for the other side. All right, shallow one.